What would I say to my 30 year old self as I walk into 31? Know this is not the news you desire to hear, but realize it's all in God's hands. There is a divine miracle in your womb, a prince who is feeding off your energy daily. You must try to balance your emotions of sadness and anger because that will affect how your son will feel outside the womb. As you hear the docs tell you health risks of your baby, recognize the power of God in your mind. Listen to the voice of God. Enjoy your miracle. Don't believe the lie that something is wrong with you or think too hard on why this happened. Be thankful your baby is alive. God will supply and protect him in and outside the womb. Your husband loves you. This year will make you see the love he has for you unconditionally. You both will make it through this test. Just stay close in this process. Share honestly how you both are feeling. Release all your emotions to him as he truly understands your pain. It's completely okay to be private. It's God, your husband, and you. That's all the communication you need right now. Use this time to be completely vulnerable with your husband as you both are going through a tumultuous time. When you are ready, family, friends, and those in passing will give generously from their hearts. It's okay to ask for help. You are not in this alone. Jaleel will have an abundance of love. It will be very difficult for your husband to pack Jaleel's gifts in the car once you leave Ohio. I know that the hardest part for you in this journey will be being separated from your baby after he is born. You will get about 10 minutes of kangaroo care before the NICU team takes your baby away from your arms. However, time will be on your side as you will reunite with your baby the day after. Keep pumping milk as much as you can. Jalil loves and thrives off your breast milk. Your liquid gold will help his immune system while he's in the NICU six months. I know the surgeries and machines to help Jalil will look intimidating at first, but they will go away. Remember, you don't have to have it all together. Express your tears and stress. You are not depressed. What you are going through is very traumatic. Trust and believe Jalil will breathe on his own. Jalil will bottle feed longer than the doctors expected. His body will go without dialysis for six months. Trust the process. Don't fear immunizations, medications, dialysis, G2 feedings, and the 10 surgeries ahead. There will be close calls and medical mistakes, but Jalil will bounce back. Just wait and see. I know you want to control, but surrender. Do not resist the medical intervention so your miracle can shine the light of God. Trust God. Put your faith and works into action. Believe and act on behalf of your son because you are his biggest advocate. Do not take yourself so seriously. You are strong. Don't let your mind tell you otherwise. Enjoy the cuddles as much as you can. Tune out the commotion of the hospital and sing and pray for Jalil. Read words of strength and repeat his name over and over as he is great and courageous. God made no mistake. God has a message. God will use Jalil's life to show greatness. There will come a time where the attitude will change in the hospital. The doctors, nurses, social workers, and therapists will see that this little miracle has a great fight in him. They will see the supernatural joy that only comes from his unique story. All the sacrifices and countless tears will be worth it in the end. You will get the precious moments you and your husband desired. Visualize what you want and it will happen before you even expected it. You will come out strong. This experience will change your outlook on life. It will allow you to help others as you have always had a passion to serve. Again, I say, trust the process. God will supply everything you need to overcome this. Greater is coming. You will use your talents in a different way for God's glory. You will be blessed with so many connections. As Jalil passes through the birth canal, he will bring countless inspirational lessons with him. Enjoy the ride, T-Rides.